Good morning, Bitcoins, and welcome back to Mad Bitcoins Live, now on the World Crypto Network. I've invited the other World Crypto Network players to join me. We'll see if they drop by. We're starting out to recap the day's news. Newsweek has unmasked Satoshi Nakamoto, launching the We Are Satoshi campaign on Twitter, where everyone has changed their name to hashtag we are Satoshi. There's also been a variety of great photoshops that came out today. Bitcoin does it better. I am Satoshi Nakamoto and more because we are Satoshi now. I put out quite a few little memes here. I'll try to recap some of them. You can create your own Satoshi Nakamoto meme at memegenerator.net forward slash I am Satoshi. You'll see there's a lot of people that claim to be Satoshi, and we're going to try to cover them all. It says here, even this bald guy says he is Satoshi. We'll have to check that out later. I'm lining him up. This guy is not Satoshi. Keanu Reeves, also not Satoshi. This guy appears to be Satoshi Nakamoto. This guy also looks like Satoshi Nakamoto. And of course, we are Satoshi. We are Satoshi. I am Satoshi Nakamoto. And the meme is obviously taken off here. A variety of memes being generated. Which one of us is Satoshi Nakamoto? I forget. Which one of us is Spartacus? I don't know. How could you not realize? I am Satoshi Nakamoto. Put a crossover there. Satoshi Nakamoto, alien. But we are coming live with you breaking news, recapping the Mad Bitcoin's Twitter account, trying to get back to the story that we were originally going to cover. What's been happening now is according to Joe Bell Bruno, at Joe Bell Bruno on Twitter, we think that Nakamoto might be heading towards downtown LA. The great American Bitcoin chase is now underway. The Bitcoin chase continues. Nakamoto and the AP reporter are on the 10 freeway going west. Nakamoto and the AP reporter are driving a Prius. Details. This is the OJ Simpson-esque chase of Nakamoto. You cannot make this up. So the AP reporter takes Nakamoto to lunch for the Bitcoin scoop to a sushi restaurant in Temple City. Other reporters chase them. This occurred about 48 minutes ago and apparently is still developing live. That is to say, the Newsweek story appears to be confirmed. Satoshi Nakamoto is now meeting with the Associated Press at a sushi restaurant in Temple City near Los Angeles. There was an O.J. Simpson-like chase of Mr. Nakamoto. I would like to get footage of this chase. If anyone has a link to this footage, please Twitter it to at MadBitcoins or put it in the question and answer section of this live chat. We're going back to Joe Bell Bruno. Twitter at JoeBellBruno.com. He can now confirm. Let's see. <laughs> Hang on, folks. There might be some resolution here with Nakamoto in downtown LA. Al Cowlings just got into the car. Just kidding. Very funny. The AP reporter just took Nakamoto into the AP bureau. Here's the best part. The media can't drive into the parking garage. It's private. So the Bitcoin chase appears to have ended at the AP bureau in Los Angeles. He can now confirm that the media is chasing Nakamoto into the elevator and that Nakamoto successfully got into the elevator. This is five minutes ago. The LA Times reporter jumps into the elevator with Nakamoto in the Bitcoin chase. By Chang, by, Andre, by Andrea Chang, sorry, by Andrea Chang to Nakamoto, did you create Bitcoin? Did you create Bitcoin? Nakamoto denies being the creator of Bitcoin. Yes, denied. I'm going to have to push the R3 button right away. 
This is all going down in an elevator with Nakamoto. This is one minute ago. This is live reading of live tweeting. Very strange. Nakamoto says he's not involved in Bitcoin. He was engaged in a weird card chase, all for a free lunch. The AP involvement is not a confirmation. Satoshi Nakamoto appears not to be Satoshi Nakamoto. Newsweek appears to be wrong. This is breaking news. I assume that the Associated Press will be writing an article soon, but right now, at Joe Bell Bruno has broken the story that Satoshi Nakamoto is claiming to not be Nakamoto. They say that Nakamoto picked up the AP reporter randomly outside of his house. I don't know if that's Nakamoto's house or the reporter's house. I assume Nakamoto. Nakamoto went with the AP reporter in his car for a free lunch, according to at by Andrea Chang. At by Andrea Chang is now breaking stories live on the Bitcoin. He appears to not be the Bitcoin. Satoshi Nakamoto is not Satoshi Nakamoto. This is an incredible developing story. We are Satoshi, but Satoshi is not. Satoshi. We're turning to the Mad Bitcoin's Twitter account to see if there's any response. I love Bitcoin demands picks from Joe Del Bruno. Tariq Ferez says, suck it, mass media. Fontas Pumps is enjoying our funny coverage because this is truly shocking information. I had no idea that it was going to go this way. I, I mean, I believe that the initial story seemed very fictional. But when I heard about the AP involvement, when I heard that Nakamoto was going to lunch with the Associated Press, I thought we were headed towards confirmation town. And I started to wonder about the $400 million in Bitcoin and what was going to happen next. And if we would find out if he had the keys, if he was ever going to use them, what would Satoshi do? But apparently it's all been broken by tweets by at Joe Bell Bruno and tweets by at by Andrea Chang. Incredible reporting from the LA Times and the LA Times. Great work by the Times, breaking the AP story while the AP presumably was trying to keep it under wraps, probably trying to write their own article. That's right, if you're joining us right now, we can update that according to the Twitter feed of at Joe Bell Bruno, the Newsweek article that was released earlier this morning that is on the cover of Newsweek, formerly a News Weekly, now clearly a tabloid journalist, tabloid magazine, like the Daily Beast, which took it over, like the Daily Tatler, who used to be edited by the same woman. The New York, the News, <laughs> Newsweek is wrong. Satoshi Nakamoto is not Satoshi Nakamoto. He went to lunch with the AP reporter to confirm that he is not Satoshi Nakamoto. He denies being the creator of Bitcoin. Let's recount the scene again. The AP reporter took Nakamoto into the AP bureau. Smart reporter. He drove into the parking garage, which was secure because the media can't drive into the parking garage. The great Bitcoin chase appears to have ended at the AP bureau, but it's not over. Hordes of media are waiting to greet Nakamoto. Nakamoto gets into the elevator with the AP reporter. The media continues chasing Nakamoto into the elevator. The LA Times reporter, at by Andrea Chang, jumps into the elevator with Nakamoto in the Bitcoin chase. As Joe Bell Bruno says, it's getting good, folks. By Andrea Chang to Nakamoto, did you create Bitcoin? Nakamoto denies being the creator of Bitcoin, all in an elevator in Los Angeles. Apparently, finding Satoshi Nakamoto is not as easy as looking up everyone named Nakamoto and assuming because he enjoys collecting model trains and he's an engineer that that proves that he is Satoshi Nakamoto. 
because this Satoshi is not your Satoshi. Your Satoshi is in another castle. We've got three new tweets from at Joe Bell Bruno, who is really doing a great job covering this live breaking story. Do you people realize there will now be a reverse Bitcoin chase with Nakamoto when he heads back home? Very funny. <laughs> Very funny. Looks like the AP is going to get a real scoop here. Let's see if the AP is tweeting anything about this story. No, the AP chooses to live in the past. Their last tweet was 17 minutes ago. Before that, their tweet before was two hours ago. We have 20 interactions on the Twitter. So let's see what's going on with you, the Twitter people. I'd like to thank David Howard at home for using the question and answer section where he says, the glove doesn't fit. He's absolutely right. We've seen an OJ-like chase, and now we've seen perhaps an OJ-like reversal as a man who we thought that was indeed Satoshi Nakamoto is not Satoshi Nakamoto. Let's see. It's a pity you didn't lay off an old man. Apparently made a mistake. Did he put on glasses and fool them like Clark Kent, perhaps? <laughs> Very funny. Mad Bitcoins is breaking news. True that. Satoshi Nakamoto is not Satoshi Nakamoto. <laughs> like we have. Okay, I'm not involved in Bitcoin. Okay. Who's involved in Wait a Bitcoin? minute. I want free on first. I'm gonna go with this guy. I believe that this Instagram just sent to us by. Let's find it. Where is it? By We Are Satoshi. Of course, everyone is named We Are Satoshi. But this Instagram just sent to me by Bitcoin Monk, which I must get on my Twitter here. Incredible post from Instagram by at Bitcoin Monk. At Bitcoin Monk. Incredible footage. We appear to be seeing all those sideways. Okay, no, no questions right now. I want my feet on. Question <laughs> asked about Bitcoin. Why are we involved in Bitcoin? Okay, I'm not involved in Bitcoin. Okay. Who's involved in Wait Bitcoin? Wait a minute. I want free on first. I'm gonna go with this guy. Just again to recap, if you can't hear the sound, it's a bit unclear. He says, "No more questions. I am not involved in Bitcoin." I don't want to ruin my free lunch. I'm going with these men. He appears to be saying that it's so, what, a, what an incredible economic development. You know how there's no such thing as a free lunch? The AP just got the most incredible story in the world. They're going to presumably flip Newsweek, AKA the Daily Beast's coverage on its head and to destroy their claim that this man is Satoshi Nakamoto. And this man is giving them the story in exchange for a free lunch. A free lunch that he doesn't want to spoil, but he may have just spoiled here, denying that he's involved in Bitcoin. This is Dorian Prentice Satoshi Nakamoto denying that he is the Satoshi Nakamoto of Bitcoin. We're going to watch it one more time. Incredible, incredible breaking news. And thanks to everyone on Twitter for making this possible and allowing me to cover this. Without the help of at Bitcoin Monk, who also has his name as we are Satoshi today, as most of us do, I would not have been able to cover this in the same way. This Instagram footage is presumably accurate and live footage of Mr. 
Dorian Prentice Satoshi Nakamoto leaving his home to go have lunch with the AP reporters, presumably before the great Bitcoin chase where the media of Los Angeles chased Mr. Nakamoto through the streets of Los Angeles in their Prius. Before the media mobbed Mr. Nakamoto at the AP Bureau, this footage was shot and released, albeit sideways, onto Instagram by Mr. Hunter Schwartz. So once again, we owe this breaking development from our friends on the internet. I'm not in Los Angeles reporting this story, but thankfully our friends in the internet are. Satoshi Nakamoto is not Satoshi Nakamoto. Mr. Dorian Prentice Satoshi Nakamoto is not the Satoshi Nakamoto of Bitcoin. Newsweek has run an incredibly wrong story on the front page of their once weekly magazine. And they said earlier this morning they're going to do a print edition so that this could be a collectible. And it's certainly going to turn out to be a collectible, although not the kind of collectible that Newsweek thought they were putting out earlier this morning. Newsweek went to press with quotes from the man's family, a brief denial when he forced them off of his property, out of his yard with police, and they went to press with it. And it's turning out that Newsweek is wrong. Satoshi Nakamoto is not Satoshi Nakamoto. At Fontas Pumps is laughing out loud and said, who really believed that? Or the CEO of Bitcoin suicide, mass media, read between the lines. Interesting comment from Fontis, or whoever the current Fontis is. He's much like the DPR. It's tough to say who the real Fontis is, but welcome aboard, Fontis. And no, I mean, the story seemed too good to be true. It seemed incredibly dramatically written. I picked up on a lot of the details. The police officer recognizing the name Satoshi instantly, wondering why he lived in such uh, not grand conditions. Uh, the other details, such as Satoshi being from uh, the heritage of the samurai and his f mother being a Buddhist priest. There are some very interesting details in that article that made it ring a little too much like fiction, and it's very interesting to see. I wonder what At Truth Eater is saying now on her account. Remember, At Truth Eater, Leah McGrath Goodman broke the story this morning. Let's see. She's still um, getting compliments from Stacy Herbert and Josh Inglis, and she says thanks to Stacy for her comments. It doesn't appear that she has commented on the updated and breaking story that the AP, the Associated Press, appears to be eating sushi with Mr. Dorian Prentice Satoshi Nakamoto, who is not the Satoshi Nakamoto who invented Bitcoin. According to Mr. At Joe Bell Bruno on Twitter from the Los Angeles Times and Miss At By Andrea Chang, also from the Los Angeles Times, the Associated Press is still posting old stories, video concepts of 3D printed cars, driverless cars at Geneva. Liam McGrath Goodman, aka At Truth Eater is still not acknowledging that her story is being pumped full of holes. It does not look like this man, Mr. Dorian Prentice Satoshi Nakamoto, is indeed the Satoshi Nakamoto behind Bitcoin. Continuing to cover at the at Mad Bitcoins feed, I would like to just uh, go ahead and retweet this so that everyone can go and follow at Joe Bell Bruno and Miss at by Andrea Chang. They are really breaking this story right now. Going back. Good lies make for cheap Bitcoin. Buyer's market from Bruce Wiener. Good advice, Bruce. There's a lot of retweeting going on. And uh, we are kind of taking it out on poor Newsweek here. But when you go ahead with a story like this, you take a risk. And it does not seem like Mr. Dorian Satoshi is Mr. Satoshi. It seems that he is a different Satoshi. And uh, Mr. Pi Rebel is certainly right. There is no such thing as a free lunch. And going back to this incredible Instagram video by Mr. Hunter Schwartz. Schwartz, I'm not Schwartz. I'm not sure. He might have shortened his name. but 
Mr. Hunter Schwarz lives in Los Angeles and writes things. And we'd like to thank him for this incredible, amazing video. Okay, no, no questions right now. I want my three on. Let me ask you about Bitcoin. Why are we involved in Bitcoin? Okay, I'm not involved in Bitcoin. Okay. Who's involved in Wait Bitcoin? Wait a minute. I want free lunch first. I'm gonna go with this guy. I want a free lunch. I've got to go with this guy. I am not involved in Bitcoin. We have one more video. Very interesting. This man, Mr. Hunter Schwarz, appears to be part of the mob of reporters that were waiting outside of Mr. Dorian Prentice, Satoshi Nakamoto, who appears now not to be the Satoshi Nakamoto who invented Bitcoin. One more time from the doorstep of Mr. Satoshi. Okay, no, no questions right now. I want my three on. Let me ask you about Bitcoin. Why are we involved in Bitcoin? Okay, I'm not involved in Bitcoin. Okay. Who's involved in Wait Bitcoin? Wait a minute. I want three on first. I'm gonna go with this guy. Okay, let's put the Newsweek thing aside and let's look at the incredible press that Bitcoin is getting today. If any newspapers or any morning shows covered the Bitcoin creator story this morning, as I expect they did, it's the perfect story to cram into the little format of, oh, have you heard the creator of Bitcoin has been found? Oh, that's interesting. Tell me more. It's that perfect little story to cram in, and now they have the second half of it. Have you heard Newsweek was completely wrong in unmasking the creator of Bitcoin? And that just assuming that the man's name is Satoshi Nakamoto is not enough to lead us to believe that he is, in fact, the creator of Bitcoin. The Associated Press must be having an incredible field day uh, meeting with Mr. Satoshi and writing up this story in a sushi restaurant in Temple City or perhaps in the Associated Press Bureau in Los Angeles. Certainly, it makes sense that independent media like Mr. Hunter Schwartz and uh, members of the Los Angeles Times, like Mr. At Joe Bell Bruno and Miss At By Andrea Chang, are there covering this story and really getting the news out there. Still, no updates from the Associated Press tweet, Twitter account, or from Miss Leah McGrath Goodman, who is currently being disproven for her article that she posted earlier today at 6:05 a.m. on the East Coast. The face behind Bitcoin. Not so much anymore. Better save a copy of this cover. Might be a collector's issue. We're going back to Twitter to see what you think, to see what's going on. Let's see. <laughs> Mr. Wayan, just grabbing more popcorn now, waiting for the reaction by Newsweek and at Truth Eater. That's a good point. We should check in. He says, this has to be the funniest thing yet to happen to Bitcoin. The Satoshi Twitter chase. You just can't make this stuff up. You can't. And when I saw it happening on Twitter, I thought it was incredible. I thought for sure that we were going to see the beginning of pretty much Satoshi mania. I'm not sure if you guys have ever looked at the Beatle mania that came in and the madness that gripped this country. But if you can imagine the unmasking of this kind of genius, when Bitcoin is still so much uncertainty, so little is known about it in the general public, to see this kind of Einstein come out of nowhere and then to have him right there in Los Angeles at the home of the media, or one of the major homes, of course, LA and New York. I mean, this would be different if it happened in Omaha, Nebraska. But obviously by having the alleged Satoshi right there under the media's nose, obviously because the media showed up, we have this incredible sideways footage Showing us that this is not a Satoshi Nakamoto. Okay, I'm not involved in Bitcoin. Okay. Who's involved in Wait a minute. I want free on first. I'm gonna go with this guy. I am. It. It. I mean, I can already see the Saturday Night Live sketch. It's right there. Uh, I am not involved in Bitcoin. I want a free lunch. Uh, obviously. No offense to Mr. Nakamoto, but obviously this is a, not a man with $400 million in Bitcoin. Although I don't know that the actual Nakamoto has that either. I still believe and hope 
that he was smart enough to throw away those keys and to use them as test Bitcoin, as pillars to support Bitcoin. Coins that exist have value but won't move. I think that's a smart idea. Uh, but on the other hand, what, what we also could have seen if this was truly Nakamoto, if he's found out like this, why shouldn't he move the 400 million? Why shouldn't Mr. Nakamoto start setting up foundations and pretty much become an overnight Bill Gates? Uh, hopefully something positive like uh, the Bill Gates Foundation could come out of Nakamoto's wealth and riches if he chose to. But again, we can again say that I'm not involved with Bitcoin. I want my free lunch. Dorian Prentice, Satoshi Nakamoto, not incredible story. And again, Twitter, such a ridiculous platform. There we go. All right, tweeting that out again. The car chase, like what, what action and details? I hope that everyone will rewind later and, and relive this incredible car chase by that was tweeted to us live by Mr. At Joe Bell Bruto from the Los Angeles Times. Let's see what's going on now. Okay, the reporters chasing Nakamoto basically split to grab lunch. Mr. Uh, Bell Bruno was supposed to be interviewing an intern today. It kind of got in the way. Once again, to clarify, Nakamoto did deny being the Bitcoin creator. I wonder if Mr. Bell Bruno has seen this video yet. I'm going to send that to him. He did deny indeed. See if Bell Bruno can pick this up. Either way, great work by Mr. Joe Bell Bruno and Miss Andrea Chang from the Los Angeles Times. Let's see what's going on. AP reporter gets the cash out to cover the sushi. Nakamoto holds up his hand, shakes his head no. He blinks. 24 bitcoins fall from the sky. Andrea Chang offered to buy both the AP reporter and Nakamoto lunch after he said he was promised a free lunch. Again, this is just going to be great in economics textbooks, all this discussion of free lunches. <laughs> I, I believe Ms. Chang gets it as well. He's involved in this chase all for a free lunch. And now they're publishing the location of the sushi place where Mr. Nakamoto wanted his free lunch. It's unfortunate he wasn't in San Francisco. They already have that sushi place near the Internet Archive that accepts Bitcoin. They could have paid in Bitcoin. That would have been a beautiful, small detail on this story. Apparently, I'm now being followed by Dorian S. Nakamoto, who likes model trains, cryptography, and being left alone. <laughs> the AP is t saying they can take me home in their helicopter and have an intern take my Prius back later. Still no free lunch, though. <laughs> it's like that uh, great John Cusack movie, Better Off Dead, where the kid's like, where is my $2? Where's my free lunch? Perhaps adding the Bitcoin Chase hashtag to my tweets isn't aiding me in losing the media. Scariest elevator ever, hashtag Bitcoin Chase. Roads, where we're going, we don't need roads. A lot of great stuff. We're going into a whole new level of the story as the uh, jokesters and the pranksters start to take control of it. We've got a great comment in the question and answers by Mr. David Howard. Newsweek staff spotted in Walmart buying cases of Depends. That's right, Newsweek. You got it wrong. Still no response from at Truth Eater. Let's go with at Newsweek, see if they have an at Newsweek. Let's see. 
at Newsweek on Twitter. Very good. The latest news from Newsweek. 24 minutes ago, a boring story about the SAT test. And again, a link to their story about Satoshi Nakamoto. They now claim that the magazines are here. Oh, please tell me I can get one of those. Oh, please. And it has the B uh, as a physical thing. Oh, I want this, says Hendrik. I want it too. I wonder if there's a Newsweek.com anymore. Let's find out. The face behind Bitcoin. This week's edition. Oh, please tell me I can order it online. I wonder if they'll still deliver the, uh, the magazine uh, after they find out it's not true. Well, that's some scary picture there. I don't know if that'll happen. It doesn't look like you just get the one. But again, I'll, I'll be checking out some newsstands later, maybe tomorrow, see if this Newsweek uh, magazine is real. This would be a great collector's edition. Uh, would look great in a frame. Very funny story. Newsweek. Going back to Twitter, we've got 38 new interactions, a lot of new follows and retweets. Get your free lunch, man. Wants a free lunch. That's all he wants. That's funny stuff. All the dude ever wanted was his rug back. For those of you just joining in now, perhaps you haven't heard, there was a dramatic car chase across the city of Los Angeles with perhaps the entire media chasing Satoshi Nakamoto as if he were O.J. Simpson fleeing the scene of the crime in the white Bronco with Al Callings. When they got there, they found out quickly that Satoshi Nakamoto, Mr. Dorian, Dorian Prentice Satoshi Nakamoto, is not the Satoshi Nakamoto who invented Bitcoin. He denied it while getting into an elevator with AP reporters, while Los Angeles Times reporters forced their way onto the elevator and demanded Mr. Satoshi answer the question. And answer he did. Satoshi Nakamoto is still secret. We still don't know what happened with the over $400 million, the over 1.65 million Bitcoins that were mined early by Mr. Satoshi Nakamoto and left in the blockchain. We don't know if the keys were destroyed. We don't know if Mr. Nakamoto is planning to ever spend the money or if they're simply pillars to keep Bitcoin up and provide a foundation. But what we do know is that Mr. Dorian Prentice Satoshi Nakamoto of Temple City, Los Angeles, now has a major lawsuit that I believe he could file against the, New the Newsweek magazine. Newsweek published his home address, a picture of his license plate, a picture of his car, a picture of his house. They published pictures of him, obviously, on a family vacation. They've made him a nas nationwide figure and they are completely wrong. He is not, according to what we're hearing from the Los Angeles Times reporters' Twitter accounts. He is not Satoshi Nakamoto. This has all been breaking live. It's around 2.02 p.m. here on the West Coast. This started about half an hour to an hour ago. <laughs> and it looks like, hopefully, it was on the Los Angeles media. Hopefully, they covered this live, and we will get video of it, perhaps later today, perhaps tomorrow. Certainly, it will end up on YouTube, if there was indeed, hopefully, helicopters even, covering this exciting event. Unbelievable. Satoshi Nakamoto is not Satoshi Nakamoto. Many of the other reporters have left the lobby in search of food. Funny thing about being a reporter. The Associated Press, still no update on their Twitter account. At Truth Eater, the author who broke the story that turns out to be a non-story, no update on her Twitter account. The Newsweek story is still up, although now is probably a good time to save a backup copy of it. You never know when they're going to take this kind of story offline and deny us all this beautiful image. Bitcoin's face, the mystery man behind the cryptocurrency. Apparently, there's now a box of them somewhere in the world, and I hope that I can get one. Look at that incredible bending, fold-off mask. What an embarrassing situation for Newsweek, who has still 
not confirm nor deny their story, which now appears to be fake. This man is not the face behind Bitcoin. The glove does not fit. We go with one more round through the Twitter comments, and then we're probably going to end this here. Uh, Mr. We Are Satoshi, which we're all named today, is at KFR says, a totally appropriate collectible, collectible testament to Newsweek's journalistic legacy. A cover story based on total nonsense. Absolutely true. An embarrassing embarrassment to Newsweek. Free lunch and maybe a lawsuit? The guy closes the door behind him like it's nothing. He doesn't have Bitcoin in his house. Very true. Life is too short to double check. <laughs> funny, funny. And free shipping for his trains. That's what else he wants. You drive a Corolla? Oh, um, I still think that Satoshi drives a Corolla. I'm going to stick with that. That detail is true. Uh, Satoshi Nakamoto is an asshole and drives a Corolla. I think we should keep those details from this uh, unmasking that's now a non-unmasking. Incredible story. Breaking right here for you on Mad Bitcoins and the World Crypto Network. I hope to be joined by some of the other World Crypto Network people, but apparently they're not around today. Of course, Newsweek probably decided to break this story during the Bitcoin conference in Austin, Texas to maximize the press impact. And now it's having the opposite effect how unfortunate for Newsweek that the entire Bitcoin community is together in Austin, Texas, and they're getting to laugh at this incredible story, which reminds me of a Bitcoin crash. The price is down in the morning, the price is right back up in the evening. I wonder how Bitcoin prices are doing right now. I wonder what's going on on Bitcoin Wisdom. Mt. Gox, still frozen at 135. It's the joke that keeps on giving. But really, there's something wrong with my bookmarks, and it keeps taking me back there. And I think it's funny. Bitstamp is at 662. Looks like we had a bit of a dip today down to 658, a little bit of 656 action. But now we're at 662 and appear to be headed back up along a very jagged line. BTC-E is at 644. Hobi, I think it is, Hobi is at 641. Litecoins at $16.24 a coin. Just to recap again, we are live on Twitter at Mad Bitcoins. And just to see what's going on. Will people break into his house to steal the coins? I don't know. It's, it's really unfortunate now that Mr. Dorian Prentice, Satoshi Nakamoto, is not Satoshi Nakamoto. I hope that that story gets out in the same way that Newsweek got out the other story. I hope they have another cover next month that says this man is not Satoshi Nakamoto and boy are we sorry and I hope they undo all the damage that they've done to this private man's private life which we're now everyone is completely going through with a fine tooth comb because he is not Satoshi Nakamoto but they told us all morning that he was great story very funny Bitcoin at 660 Thank you for watching the World Crypto Network. Subscribe today at worldcryptonetwork.com. And remember, if you enjoy Mad Bitcoins, you can always go to madbitcoins.com. Click the Donate Bitcoin button. And you can donate either directly with Coinbase or using this QR code. That's right. You can donate to Mad Bitcoins. You don't have to be Satoshi Nakamoto because apparently this guy isn't Satoshi Nakamoto either. Until next time, this has been Mad Bitcoins. Mad Bitcoins. Mad Bitcoins.